Hey, how's it guys? In this Google BigQuery API tutorial, we'll be learning how to run parameterized queries in Python. So Google BigQuery supports query parameters to help prevent SQL ingestion when queries are constructed using user input or variables. And to prevent SQL ingestion, using BigQuery API, there's a feature called uh, parameter types. So currently in Google BigQuery API, uh, we have three different parameter types. One is the uh, scalar query. The other one is going to be the array query. And the last one is going to be the structure query, which I'll cover uh, examples to cover each query type. Now here in my uh, Google BigQuery console, I have this uh, SQL statement to return records based on this uh, weird clause condition. So if we look at the weird clause, I'm supposed to find that I want to return all the records that contain the word SQL. And I also want to return records where the score value is greater or equals to 50. Now let me go ahead and uh, grab this uh, SQL statement and I'll make a copy in my uh, Python script. Now I need the variable SQL query. All right, so for the first demo, I'm going to cover the scalar query parameter type. And for this demo, I'm going to cover two examples. The first example is going to be uh, replacing our uh, input values as a variable. The second example is going to be uh, using two variables as our uh, day range. And the third example is going to be uh, creating a positional parameter to create our uh, data set. So to use the uh, parameterized query, so here we're going to create a list, and I'll name the list query parameters. And here I'm creating a scalar query parameter object. And it's going to be our variable value that we're going to replace to our uh, SQL query. So if we look at the uh, scalar query parameter uh, object here, we have three parameters. The first parameter is going to be the variable name, followed by the data type of the uh, value that we're going to provide. So in this case, uh, this is going to be my uh, variable value. And here uh, for the second variable, I need to uh, change that to 50 to match to my word clause conditions. So for my second uh, variable, the variable name is going to be score and the uh, data type is going to be int. In Google BigQuery, we need to uh, use int64 as the data type and followed by the value that we want to assign to our variable. Now to assign these two variables to our uh, SQL query, so here we're going to uh, insert the S symbol to uh, mark that as an identifier, followed by the variable name. So this is going to be title that ties to uh, this variable here. And for the score variable, this is going to be at followed by the uh, variable name. Now to pass the uh, query or the parameterized query, we need to first of all create a query job config object to store the uh, configuration setting. And I'll name the object as job config. Now to execute the query with the uh, variable values, so here let me uh, change this to uh, SQL query. And we're going to pass the job config object to the job config uh, parameter. And we're going to use the query method to run the uh, SQL query. And for the output, I want to uh, create the output as a data frame object. And I'll print the output. Now, if I go ahead and run the uh, script, it's going to return the output that maps to our web clause conditions. In this case, uh, this is going to be all the records where the title contains uh, SQL and the score is greater than 50. All right, so this is going to be example one. All right, so let me uh, put this here. So essentially, how we run the uh, query is going to be exactly the same. The only thing that is going to be different is how we're going to uh, construct the uh, parameterized queries. Now, if I want to create a day range, 
actually uh, the SQL statement is going to be different for each example. All right, so if we want to create a date range, so the uh, query parameters actually takes a date time object as a valid value. So let's say I want to uh, run a query to return records uh, between May 1st and May 31st based on the uh, record create date. So here let me uh, update the record. And again, I'm going to use the uh, scholar query parameter object type. And create one is going to be my uh, first variable. And create a two is going to be my second variable. And date time is going to be the data type. And for the timestamp, so we can uh, provide the date time object, giving the uh, year value, month value, and day value. And because my query is going to be based on a date range, so here I need to update the uh, SQL statement. All right, so if we look at the where clause, so my condition is going to be create the records based on the created UTC column, and I want to return the records based on these two dates as the day range. Now, if I run the script, and it's going to return the records um, where the created UTC value is between May 1st and May 31st. All right, so uh, for the first demo, example three, uh, we can use positional parameter to uh, run a query. So here let me insert the uh, SQL query. So to use positional parameter, here we are uh, placing the uh, S symbol with a question mark. So the first question mark is going to be the first variable that takes the value from the first item inside the query parameters list. The second question mark is going to um, takes the value from the second item in the query parameters list. So here uh, for the first uh, variable, we are going to replace the variable name with a uh, non value because we're not going to assign a variable name to our uh, SQL query. And this one too. Right, so when run the uh, script, this value is going to be assigned to the first question mark, and 50 is going to be assigned to the second question mark. Now, if I run the script, we should expect the same result from the first example. Right, so that's going to be uh, the exercise for demo one. Now for demo two, I'm going to cover how to run the array parameterized query. So as I mentioned before, I want to use the parameterized query. How we run the query is going to be exactly the same. The only thing that's going to be different is going to be the uh, query parameter object type. So for this example, my word clause condition is going to be based on the flare text uh, using the in operator. So if we want to pass a list of values, we'll be using the array query parameter object, and it's going to be the uh, variable name, data type, and followed by the uh, list object that contains the uh, lookup values. So in this case, I want to return records where the flare text is MySQL, BigQuery, or Oracle. And my second condition is going to be, uh, this time I'm going to return records where the score is greater than or equals to 20. And everything else is going to be the same. Now, if I run the script, we now have a data set that where the uh, flare text is going to be MySQL, Oracle, or uh, BigQuery. And the score needs to be greater than or equals to 20. Right, so the last one is going to be a uh, structure query parameter. And this one's going to be a little bit tricky to explain if I've never used a uh, structure function before in BigQuery. So with the uh, structure query, 
we are basically creating a JSON record. So let's look at this example. So here uh, in my SQL query string, I'm selecting a variable and I'm naming the column, column A. And if we look at the uh, query parameters uh, list, so for this example, I'm only inserting one value, but this value contains uh, two uh, values. In this case, will be two key value pairs. So I'm creating a structure query parameter object. Inside the uh, struct query parameter object, the first parameter is going to be the variable name and followed by the uh, key value pairs. And how the uh, structure query is going to uh, interpret the uh, parameters is by looking at the uh, variable name. So here, uh, this is going to be our key and 1000 is going to be our value. And for the uh, second value, count A2 is going to be our key. Uh, this uh, daytime object is going to be the uh, value for the uh, second record of the JSON object. I'm going to call it JSON record or JSON object since we can create multiple records in a value. Now, if I go ahead and uh, run the script. Now here, let's look at uh, this output. So if we look at the SQL query string, I'm naming my column, column A, and which is uh, this value here. And based on the uh, values or the objects I provided to the structure query parameter object. So here we have two uh, items inside this uh, dictionary object. So here we have the key value, uh, column A1, with a value of 1000. And the second value with the key uh, column A2 with the uh, date timestamp assigned to uh, May 31st, 2022nd. And that's basically the concept of uh, how to use the structure query parameter object type. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.